You think it can't get any worse after wa reading this chapter. But now, like, um, just thinking about what Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin is pretty much capable of, you think this is the worst thing that could have happened. Like, literally. Sorry for, like, making an introduction like that, but I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan, which is on chapter 105. Yeah. Be prepared of what's to come. If you read the chapter, which I highly recommend you do first before watching my recap or whatever you want to call it, a review or something, you best be prepared. <laughs> so we have to it that Eren Mikasa managed to get on board, and we see to it that Levi says hello to him and says that he looks really he looks really terrible. And even Levi tells Eren that he fell into a freaking hole. Well, I'm not going to say the word here because it's a cuss. And I'm not really sure the translations, translations might be on point, but it seems accurate. Of course, Levi kicks Aaron in the face in a very bad, pe peculiar anger, possibly. And Mikasa was really upset about this, but Armin told, tells it to stop. And we, and we had to it that Levi says, You know, Aaron, you're still the best guy I like to kick around all the time. He even puts Eren under arrest and will speak afterwards. Of course, Eren himself says, I don't mind. Everything is what I wrote is on that letter. I'm pretty sure you understand the contents, did you not? And we have to it that Levi tells him, You know, that face I've seen, that despicable face countless times in the slums. To think that you be happy, everything as you have thought it would happen. And we see to it that Jean and everyone, everyone else is just like, um taking a look at what's really coming right now along with like um what's happening here and there and we see to it that things are still looking pretty nice for everyone else as for Jean talking to Connie and Sasha they were they only had six casualties as much as they checked even Jean was pretty upset about this and we have to it that Falco says hey compared to the damage we inflicted it's a mi it's a major victory for the new Eldian Empire's first victory and everyone's just happy about this, blah, blah, blah. Of course, like, um, John was just trying to wonder, how long do we have to keep doing this until it ends? How much are we going to have to keep killing? And Connie, on the other hand, reminds John and Sasha by saying, first of all, we're alive, and sorry to the guys who died, etc., but you guys are something special in my life. Which is something that Connie says might be true, because he's bonded with Sasha and John, and glad enough that they actually survived. And we had to it that everyone is starting to enjoy themselves right now for their first victory. We had to it that Gabby and Falco are like going right now and tell <coughs> and Gab I mean Gabby and Falco, yeah, I think I think that's him. We have to it that Falco tries to tell Gabby, what are you doing? Hold on, stop right now. And we had to it that <coughs> that Falco tries to explain to Gabby it's useless. You should already know this. And we have to it that um, Gabby tells Falco like Zofia died from the falling debris. Udo died trying to save Zofia and he got his head split open. Trampled to death. The gate guards scolded me because I was trying to get to the plaza. They tried to persuade me not to go to the plaza even to an Eldian like me. And guess what? They were killed by the lady on the roof which is Sasha. And we had to it that Gabby's like tells Falco that she was born in Eldian and raised in an internment camp. I was spat on and treated like dirt. But you know what? I I tried to prove to the world that Eldians were nice people, that there will be a day when we don't need these bands anymore. I believed in it. And Gabby explains to Falco why she like um why she needs to keep doing what she has to do because she believes Eldians will have a good chance to be in the world. And even right now, the people she cares about gets trampled on. And right now, even Zeke died in front of us, and we couldn't do a damn thing. And we have to it that um, Gabby explains to Falco that we don't even know why any of this is even happening right now. Even right now, Falco remembers his conversa the conversation between Reiner and Eren. Like, even Eren tells Reiner, which is in Falco's flashback, I do not know why all those people had done those things to them, why all those people had to die, how many were just eaten alive. And we see to it that, like, um, 
that Gabby asked Falco, did you see it, that they were violated, they invaded Marley, countless people died, it must be for re revenge, did you not see it? And even Falco goes like, no, not that I've seen it, and Gabby's like, I didn't either, but right now, I want to kill these guys, and they're a threat to the world right now, didn't you learn that as well, they're different from us, they have to be destroyed. And we have to that Falco remembers the conversation between Reiner and Eren again by saying, You know, Reiner, I'm the same as you. Past the ocean, inside the walls, we are all the same. And we see to it that, um, that Gabby ends up shooting one of the new fresh, fresh recruits of the survey corps and ends up, di ends up dying, getting shot in the face. And we have to it that his gear is still connected, and Falco's like, What are you doing, Gabby? <coughs> You're not thinking about getting on, are you? And Gabby's like, I'm going to kill all of the devils from the island. And we have to it that Falco's like, you're only going to end up dying. And we see to it that, like, um, Gabby tells Falco, you know, Falco, tell my parents that I fought to the very end. Even if I don't win, everyone will continue my will, right? And we have to it that... <clears throat> We have to it that Falco's brother comes by and says, What are you guys doing? And we have to it that Gabby <coughs> tells Falco that you've been a great <laughs> great jerk. You know that? I don't know. And we have to it that Falco remembers Rhino's words that you're going to rescue Gabby from this dark, dark future we're going to go to. And we have to it that Falco grabs on and Gabby's like, Why are you grabbing on? And we have to it that Falco says, I'm the one that's going to inherit the armor titan. You hear me? And we have to it that um, everyone who's dropping the guard right now it seems to be seems to be very happy. But we have to it that um, that Gabby shows up and then shoots a bullet to Sasha and she falls over. It looks like she's about to die. Everyone was pretty upset about this and stops Falco and Gabby. Of course, like uh, of course, like um, freaking like um, what you may call it. Um, Gabby almost got shot but was saved by Falco, etc. And things kind of gotten really worse from here on out. Because Sasha just got shot and she says, hey, is supper almost ready? And they go, yeah, someone stop the bleeding. And we have to it that Sasha ends up saying her last word, which is meat. And she ends up having a faint out or something. And we have to it that they go like, oh, these brats got up using Lobo's gear. I'm going to toss them out. Is that all right? And of course, Zahn's like, Will all this killing stop if we throw them, throw, throw them off the sky? I'm thinking in my mind, I don't even know myself anymore. Even right now, Falco's brother can only look on in freaking like, um, solemn after seeing Falco and Gabby, like, um, sh enter the ship over there. We had to it that, um, the quadruple titan, the cart titan, I believe, ends up having to say a couple words by saying, Commander, I remember now. You know... The, that the soldier that led the warriors and put me, Giller, and I inside the pit. I saw that soldier three years ago. That the soldier was a member of the first recon unit that was sent to Paradis, uh, Paradis at the Rhinos group. And I think Marley, Marley's com army captain goes like, "A red? You mean the recon unit that got that got disappeared or something?" And even right now, um, the the cart titan user ends up saying, you know, that, that beard never actually suited very well. Even right now, Levi tells the person who had the beard on, says like, oh, how long are you going to leave that on, huh? And we see to it that Gabby screams at the devils, calling them devils we haven't lost yet. War Chief Zeke will, car will be carried on by our comrades as well. And the one to curse and crush you all will be us true Eldians. Tell that to your commander once you're done with me. Of course, like um, John tells her, I'll let you meet him now. You could tell him that yourself, huh? And we have to it that he brings the kids over there. And surprisingly enough, like, um, we see to it that it goes back to a scene with, like, um, the cart titan talking to the Marley captain's army captain. And we have to it that the army captain says, how do you know that it was a Marleyan soldier? And then I think Piek, I think that's the one that, that has a cart titan, that's the cart titan user, says like, um, because she was an interesting person for me personally, because she was a devotee to Le Zeke. Even, and it goes back to the time with like, um, freaking Gabby and Falco being introduced to Zeke right now, who's alive apparently, which is to my shock. And we see to it that Falco and Zeke goes like, how are you even alive? You were just captured by the enemy. 
And even Levi asks, who are these kids? And John's like, after killing Loboff, which is the person that Gabby shot and killed, they used this gear to infiltrate the ship, and they shot, this one sh shot, shot Sasha, who won't be living out for, for too long. Even Armin and Mikasa goes into shop and decides to go to the room where Sa Sasha was shot at. And we had two that Hans, Hans ends up leaving it to Oyakapan to like guide them to their island or something. And we have to it that Han says, so has everything gone according to your plan? Even I get into shock to see that Zeke was actually working with Levi and the others. But you know what else? I think it was given hints, I think many chapters ago, that that Zeke asked Levi what the time is. Even right now, Levi looks at his watch, etc. So I think that was just a hint that they were working with Zeke or something, possibly. <clears throat> And we have to it that Zeke explains like, yes, I guess there were too many miscalculations. And even Hans goes like, who are these kids? And Zeke explains that they're miscalculations. And I think Yelena, I think that's the person, is the one who was supposed to contain the cart, the jaw and cart titans. Supposed to like make sure they're contained or something. They all died for no reason. You do realize that, right? And we see to it that... um. Yelena says, yeah, I'm sorry. I did manage to trap them in the pit, but they escaped. It was my mistake. And we have too that Levi explains that the Beast Titan threw more rocks than it had to be planned. That improvisation was great for a clown like you, huh, Beauty? Of course, Zeke tells Levi, hey, can you stop staring at me like that? What, what, would I, what, what are you going to do if I freaking like him? Take a leak on myself, huh? You're the better actor here. Seems like to me you really want to kill me. Even Levi says, I always leave my favorite dish to last because I want to savor every little flavor of you. So it looks like Levi still has a major grudge against Zeke for killing Irvin, etc. So we have to it that um, Aaron explains that they killed the Marlian military officers and eliminated the capital fleet and the military port. So that should brought enough time with, the, with this attack. But Han says, yeah, but until the entire world mobilizes their full force against us, what the hell do you think is going to happen next? And we had to that Han explains that whatever you were caught by enemies, we risked our lives to retrieve you. No matter how many died in the process, despite knowing this, knowing this, to think you would go such a suicidal strategy where you used yourself as bait, and as you had wished, we had no other option. Han, on the other hand, tells Eren, like, you trusted us, and we lost all trust in you. You realize that, right? But Zeke explains to Hans by saying, However, with this, we have both the Founding Titan and the one with the royal blood. The great sacrifices made this day will have its favors returned by giving Eldians their freedom. And we have to it that Connie explains to everyone that Sasha is dead. While Armin and Mikasa cry over and try to keep her alive, but she's no longer waking up. We have to it that Hodge could only stare on in shock while Levi could only look down the in the slumps after what happened. Connie could only cry in tears. And even Aaron asks um, Connie, like, what were her last words? And Connie says, meet. And we have to it that Aaron could only look can only be in great um, distress right now and shame possibly after seeing one of the comrades he has bonded with for so many years die. And we had to it that Jean tells Aaron, Aaron, Sasha died because you dragged the survey corpse into this damn mess. You do realize that, right? And we had to it that Aaron remembers Sasha's, the moment with Sasha that she says, it's okay, if you recapture the land again, the cows and sheep will also increase. And, and it ends off with the message by saying, what you got and what you lost, the balance is always fickle, but the road goes on. So yeah, in this chapter, in the overall simple summary, if you don't get the details, it's just like Aaron and everyone else escapes. But at the price where Gabby and Falco enter the ship, Gabby shot Sasha and she dies. Of course, Aaron is to blame for all of this because like um, he wanted this plan to go into action. Not to mention... I think it was hinted at a long time ago, many chapters ago, that Zeke was working with Levi and the Survey Corps. Surprisingly enough, I'm thinking in my mind, 
how in the hell did he manage to keep in contact with them throughout those years and make the plan go into motion? That is something that I want to see, for sure. Aside from me being off topic, like I said, Aaron and the others escape, but Falco and Gabby infiltrate the ship with Gabby still wanting to kill everyone, etc. And Gabby does kill Sasha, but they get both get captured in the end, Falco and Gabby. Of course, like, um, yeah. Zeke, on the other hand, has been working with Aaron and the others the entire time. Not to mention Aaron is to blame for all of this, of so many casualties died. Six people died, including Sasha, so that equals seven. <laughs> you know, Sasha's death right here, oh man, dude. Half of me, a little part of me, just goes like, why did she have to die, you know? Well, Attack on Titan is Attack on Titan. It's most likely gonna happen. <laughs> because, Well, not in terms of like people dying, but anything could happen. Because we, I'm pretty sure if you read the manga or even watched the anime up to season 2 or even season 3, la 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 la, you would understand that anyone could actually die in this series. And that is the true fact. And to think Aaron would be responsible for these deaths because he made the plan about the suicidal attack, which Hanji explains. And to think that Sasha's death could only bring Aaron to distress because, yeah. One thing for sure, I could, I, I'm just going to say this to, to, to Aaron right now. You will always and forevermore until now and from then on will be a monster. I mean, try to prove me wrong. What Aaron did, like, is a crazy suicidal attack. Not to mention he killed a lot of innocent civilians, etc. But I guess it's just like payback after what they did to him on his on at, at his home on that island, whatsoever. But in the end, hum humanity itself is a monster. <laughs> but Aaron right here is one of the few. That has a lot of power and a terrifying monster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get what I'm trying to say. Sorry for being a little confusing here and there. Like I said, like Aaron and the others, everyone escapes. Many more actually died. Make it, yeah. Like six casualties was mentioned, but Loboff was killed. So that equals seven. And then Sasha just got killed and that equals eight. So... Yeah, six casualties plus Loboff's death shot by Gabby, etc. And Sa and Sasha was shot by Gabby as well, so that equals eight. Six plus Loboff, which got, which the new fresh recruit just got killed, and Sasha, yeah, eight casualties. Not gonna lie, that's actually let that's actually not too bad, but it's not really was according to plan because the Cart Titan and the Jaws Titan was supposed to be in check but let's just say a lot of miscalculations and things did not just go according to plan which nothing ever does even if you wanted it to <laughs> so yeah goodbye Sasha it's been nice knowing you potato girl whoever she had some moments where she brought some scenes to comic relief even when the series became dark but it is what it is now and as I said to Aaron, you will always now and then on be a monster. <laughs> because this was his plan and he already like um had has one of his friends killed. <laughs> but in the end, humanity is the true monster. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off of zero people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.